welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going over the mri coils which is the mri camera that we use so this is the breast coil the head go right here the arms go right there the right arm go right there the left breast the right breast and then right here you can adjust the coil up or down you can also bring it in and out the lower leg can go right here on this cushion and this is how the coil is looking When a patient come in for a breast MRI, they will have to have contrast and an IV. And this is for breast cancer. If they have breast implants and want to get an MRI scan for their breast implants, or if they have dense breast tissue or is at high risk for breast cancer. Now you have the knee coil, and then the foot and ankle coil your brain or cervical spine or thoracic spine coil. I'm just showing you how you can operate each coil, how you can take it off and how you can put it back on. This is the anterior coil. This is considered the posterior coil. This is where the head or neck goes. And then you can put the anterior part back on. It just snapped back into place. We have a dedicated coil for a foot or ankle exam. It's pretty good to make sure that the foot or ankle is properly positioned. So I'm just showing you about the coils. Your foot and ankle goes here. Your toes will be pointing upwards. And it's easier to put the coil on if the table is a little bit lower because you have to get it in the correct grooves. Okay, now you have your knee coil and it does come off. You have the plug and then the patient's right knee goes right here and then their left leg goes right there and you can switch it out to where you can slide it over and the left knee goes where it's supposed to go. Okay, now we have the shoulder coil. This is set up for a left shoulder. You have your sandbags, your flex coil, your body coil, and then you have another flex coil. You can use the flex coil for your extremities and it can just flex. You can use cold band or tape to tie it together or a strap. Okay, now we have the body coil. It could be used for your chest, abdomen, forearm, humerus, femur, or tail fib. Okay, now I have sandbags because I use it for the shoulder coil. 
and it can slide from side to side. You can take it off and then you can flip it for the opposite shoulder. And this button right here, it goes into the part of the coil that's on the table. And there you go. Thank you all for watching.